This AQ! AQ! And the baby's coming out. Colors again, focusing yourself. That's what it is. What up, YouTube? It's your boy, AQ. Listen, before we get into the video, let me just say thanks to all the new subscribers. Welcome to the STC fam. We are on the road to 10K subscribers right now. So if you guys appreciate the content, show some love right now and like and subscribe. Do so right now. Go ahead. All right, look, the video that we're going to do a reaction to today is a catch up from the dating show Pup the Balloon. So apparently these two had found love on the show and this is pretty much what transpired after the show. And before we get into the video, I'm just going to play a clip of this guy right here selling himself to her. Pretty much leading with his wallet. Here it go. You got kids? No. <laughs> no. I've tried to be very careful in life. So, Good. Okay. You know, yeah, no kids. No kids. Um, I, will like, I would like to try to sell myself because I've, I've heard. You would like <laughs> I've to heard do what? I'm to sorry. try to sell myself. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I have my own house, Ooh. and uh, it's, a more than a, it's about a quarter acre, a bit more than that. I live alone. I don't have kids. I don't really have what I would consider to be drama of any kind. My day-to-day -day life is very simple. I'm in advertising too, so I'm, I love taking pictures, Ooh. right? So and I think that, that would be something fun that we could do together as well. Okay. So I think we have many reasons why we would get along. Okay. So just, just letting you know. <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate that. Are you from here? No, I was born in Nigeria, but okay. yeah, I've lived everywhere. I've lived in the UK, I've lived in France, worked in France, um, but yeah, I've been here since 2001. Oh wow. Yeah. I was two. Yeah, you were two. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was a teenager, you know. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't, I mean, I understand, you know, I'm obviously older, mm -hmm. but there are certain things that I wanted to do in life, right? and I didn't want to be distracted. Okay. And. I have found a fair amount of success doing the things that I love. And I've been to 38 countries. I've done all the things that I wanted to do at the moment up until now. Okay. And so I felt like if I was in the place where I could get a house and get my life together, then there would be space to then find a woman. And so that's the reason why I'm here now. So. You're really selling yourself. I love yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try my best. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh, shit. Obi, you got anything to say? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no rebuttal against bro. You know, he's doing his thing. <laughs> he's doing his thing for real. You oh know what I mean? God. But, um, yeah. you know. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I'm a maintenance technician. You okay. know, I got my own little hustles. I'm a personal trainer on the side. Okay. Um, yeah, I got my own spot. But other than that, you know, I just make money on my own. You know, I do what I got to do to, you know, take care of my family and, okay. you know, elevate in life. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, want, I want to say don't be distracted by age. You, you said know? you were 38? I said don't. Yeah, 38. But okay. don't be distracted by age. I'm not. Good. I don't think, but... Yeah, I like that you're very straightforward as well. Yeah, very. I can very tell blunt. that you're straight. Yeah, I don't like <laughs> I don't like to mess around either. If you can can't tell, okay. so I'm just that's why I'm telling you all the things. So it's just you have to decide. So yeah. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a final question for them, or are you ready to make your decision no, based off of what you've heard? You don't have a question? Yeah, I can definitely ask please, one for you. Yeah, okay. Please. All right. <laughs> you said an acre. You said, a, you said a, an acre. No, it's a quarter acre. It's quarter a bit over acre. a quarter acre. Quarter yeah, acre. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Zero point four zero. Mm. Yeah, it's got, mm. A, mm. it's got a it's got a pool. It's got three Ooh, bedrooms. Pool. I'm a, I was a mermaid in my past yeah. life. Uh -oh. I'm sorry. I was a mermaid in my past life. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's have you come on out here. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. You know, like I tell you dudes all the time, never lead with your wallet, man. Let's see the outcome. So let's jump right into the video. Yeah. Okay. So. So the main question that has just been on everyone's mind since you all have matched on the show, has there been a date? Have you all gone out? You know, what's going on? No. Oh. I mean, he lives in Vegas. Okay. And that was that, but yeah, no, we just haven't been out. Oh. Okay. So Damn, she said no way too fast. She obviously weren't interested.
That's what it sounds like. So when we filmed the show, um, Eric, did you stay did a little say, bit longer in Arizona to at least be able to yeah. take her out or what happened? Well, she did say that Vegas wasn't a problem for her, mm -hmm. obviously, at the show, because mm -hmm. I asked. And I did try to um, meet her up the next day before I was traveling, but she she seemed, I think it's, it was probably too short notice, and so she wasn't available. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so we weren't able to meet right then. Okay. But the conversations continued. Okay. Okay. So where are you guys at today, yeah. Kiana? Are you guys still communicating or what's going on? Uh, no, we haven't talked since like the beginning of April. <gasps> yeah. It's not like bad blood or anything. We just don't talk. Okay. But we, we FaceTimed. I think that was the beginning of April. Um, he said his friends were watching the show and they thought we would be a good match. Mm -hmm. We're like really great friends because we have the same like personality. Mm. And I was like, yeah, you good friends. Okay. Good friends. <laughs> I see. Okay. And so is there like any initiative or anything for you guys to meet up or you plan to go to Vegas? Eric, do you plan to come here? Like, Well, I mean, ask her if I tried to invite her to Vegas or if she, you know, ask her. Because I did, didn't oh. I? Kiana, what happened? I think I was sick or something. I was busy. Okay. I know that much. Or sick. One of the other, but yeah. So do you plan on going to Vegas? No. Okay, why not? What's going on? Just not really interested anymore. Oh. I mean, our conversations were kind of dry too. Like, like he's cool. Don't get me wrong, but it's just it was just a lot. And for me, he never made me laugh mm. once. And I was like, that's a big mm. thing for me. Okay. So. Okay. Yeah. Now from the show, I know everything happens pretty quickly and all that stuff. I need to interject. Oh, okay. Go ahead, Eric. All right. So. We met each other first night. The very first vibe I got from her was, you know, at the end of the show, you would assume that someone you've matched with would want to come and have a conversation and like chat to get to know you. But she was moving over there, taking pictures with her friend. And I was just sort of by myself for a little while. And so I was like, okay, well maybe I'll just, you know, it was nice to meet you. I'll get your Instagram and, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll chat some other time. And that was it. But I was trying to add her on Instagram on, on the personal one, not on my business one, because mm -hmm. uh, I wanted her to see my photos and uh, things like that. But she, I think she added me and then like unfriended me. Oh. <laughs> By the time I'd like gotten into the other page or something, I'd noticed that she wasn't following me anymore or something but i didn't make a big deal of it because i'm an adult i don't care if someone's following or not following this was all wanted... on the same day this like was, right then and there the, that was from the first day yeah yeah so that so that already gave me a kind of a a weird feeling and so i'd sent her a text message the next day like is this nigga serious bro bro you sold yourself to her she was never into you See, this right here is pure simp behavior. You can't buy a woman love, dog. You can't trick a woman into liking you. She was never into you. But when you said you got this and you got that, she became interested in that, not you. It seems like he's feeling some type of way because Shorty wasn't showing him any interest. But, bro, she was never interested in the first place. It's like, come on, man. Are you actually interested in me or like, you know, wait, what's the what's the deal? Like, are you just did you just come, you know? And she said, yes, I am. Mm -hmm. I am was, was her response. And so I was like, OK, cool. So, I'll, so I'll, I will try to continue getting to know her and things like that. And then I FaceTimed her the next morning and she or sorry, the, the evening when I had arrived in Vegas the next that day. And I was in a good mood, everything. I was really happy. I was like looking forward to chatting to her. And then she answered the phone, but she was at a concert. And so obviously couldn't talk at the concert. Um, and so I was waiting for a FaceTime call or something at some point and, and never got anything back. And I swear to you, I asked this girl, question, 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 question. And not once did she go like, well, how about you? Mm. You know? So I just felt like, it was really hard to gauge where things were going. And for me, I don't really think text messaging is a good... And she would agree as well, because she said that she 
I asked her what her method of communication or what she would prefer as a style of communication. She, uh, she said she likes, uh, she, she, she doesn't like text as much, but she likes to, uh, she likes to talk and she likes to FaceTime. Mm -hmm. So that's why I was, I was like, okay, good. Cause I like to FaceTime as well. Cause that's how you get to know people, you know, like when you're, when you're far away. Um, and so I just was never able to get to that FaceTime and, and that's why I feel like I would shine. Like it's a text message. I'm not, you know what I mean? Like you, you can only say so much mm -hmm. and you don't really, if you don't know the person, you haven't spent time like FaceTime or a phone call is the way that you would kind of build a rapport with that person. So we just didn't have that. And the whole time, you know, just the, every day it was like, Hey, how are you? Then, Hey, how are you? And then I would t talk about my day. I, I was, I was interested i was mm -hmm. asking questions i asked about family asked about work asked about her modeling i even suggested that i could set her up with an agency here that ha that that's able to place models and things <laughs> yo this right here is pure simp behavior bro my nigga read the room it's clear as day shorty's not into you fam Listen, man, fellas, y'all got to start understanding that it's a competition out here. Now, Shorty is a pretty chick, bro. So you got to come correct if you're trying to bag a chick like this. You can't come with that square, no type of fashion sense type of look and think she's going to be into you, fam. Like, where is your charisma? Like, who are you? You sound like a square. She's going to think you're boring. It's like, read the room, my dude. <sighs> Yo, this shit is sad, man. Things like that, you know? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I was, I was showing interest and it wasn't being reciprocated okay. to, to some degree. And so I just went straight forward and I asked... You know, like, well, let's talk about making plans. Like, can I, do you want me to come to you or will you come to me? And then she just said she was busy. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, I mean, you know, like, what are you supposed to do after, after you've tried and tried? Right. So we ended up just being more cordial and friendly. And then the conversation had died until I sent her the text message with my friends. Mm -hmm. And then we kind of talked about that to some degree. And then. That shit was so fucking corny, dog. Who does that? Yeah, so my friends was watching the show and they think we look good together. Dog, stop trying to force it, bro. She's not into you. And when you do that, you comes off corny. This shit is sad, bro. It's sad, man. And I tried to FaceTime her again. Some you other did time. FaceTime. You didn't try and then day. and then she was driving. And I mean she just you know, like I thought the sarc the sarcasm thing was cute because I you know, that's how I am typically, but but it's not it's something that I can turn on and off. When you're in a one on one situation, it's easier to I mean, it's just easier to get to know people that way. Um but yeah, I mean, like I said, I tried. And you don't know someone until you can chat to them. And okay. so it's either we were going to meet. And I really, I really think people need to fulfill that part of the deal. It's like if you match, you should try to meet at least once. And so yeah. I was willing to fly there, you know, and I was, I was asking to see if she was willing to come because then I think that would, have, that would have made things easier to understand. Um, but I... I came to the conclusion and I asked her and, and I think that she would agree as well. I think that the truth of the matter is that I was just, she wasn't interested in anyone to begin with. And she said, she just picked me because I seemed nice. Mm. And I mean, while that's great, it's not really what I want to hear. Mm. Like, I don't want to, I, I came there for a reason and I participated and, and I, I think maybe it, um, yeah. I don't know. It's just, it feels like then why, Damn, my boy. Let it go. She's not into you, fam. See, this is why I be saying simps are the most dangerous dudes on this planet, fam. Because this dude is having a hard time 
understanding the fact that Shorty is just not into me. She was never into you from the jump. You led her with your wallet like a sucker. These, yo, these dudes be tripping, man. Why pick anyone at all? You mm -hmm. know, just stick to, yeah. if you don't like anyone, that's fine. There's no, there's no harm. There's no foul. Okay. You know? All right. So, Let's, let me jump in yeah. here. Kiana? Okay. That's a lot. Yeah. So... <laughs> Let's start off with, you know, it sounds like he sent you a few messages, didn't really hear anything back as far or as far as he didn't see the interest right. in him. Like sounds like from right from the jump. Were you ever really interested in him? At first, yes. OK. Um, I think I got in my head a lot, too, because. Cap. It's like I said, he's not my normal type. Mm. And I start to overthink. And then okay. I watched the show, too. And then like what he was saying about the other girls, I'm like, I always wear black. Like, mm. that's my favorite color, so that probably wouldn't have worked anyway. Okay. <laughs> um, and then the age thing, that really threw me. Like, I know I said I it wouldn't, or I will try to, like, not let it bother me. Okay. But I'm, like, 38. It's crazy. Like, I'm 25. 25, <laughs> like, okay. I'm not ready to settle down just yet. I'm, like, he's almost 40. He's probably, well, he's ready for a family and marriage. Mm. I'm not ready for that just okay. yet. Okay. So. So those few things, which you knew from the show, yeah. is what later on kind of made you lose the interest. Yeah. Okay. And then overthinking. Over okay. So um did you ever express that to him or no, you kind of just left? I him? didn't. That was that was my bad. I will apologize for that. I apologize for I guess I'm not gonna say stringing you along, but like not communicating. So that's sure. yeah, that's my bad. So sorry. No. Okay. Well we don't there's no hard feelings. Like I said, we've we've kept it cordial and we've we've still gone through some coming some conversations and things like that. And yeah, it's just even even as friends, it didn't seem like uh, like there was interest there mm. because I don't like to approach things being pushy about anything. I didn't say, oh, I, I want some kids. I didn't say <laughs> all I all I talked about was like modeling, which was your interest. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like if any like, you know, like I've, I've had photographs in Sports Illustrated. I've photographed people who've gone on to become cover model. Dog, she don't care, bro. <laughs> she don't care, bro. Stop. She's not into you. Get over it, my dude. This shit is crazy. Shorty is saying in the most polite way, like, yeah, I, you know. At first, he sold himself. It sounded good. It sounded good. But then she realized she's not into this nigga. She probably got more options ever since she's been on the show. You got to think about that. Shorty looks good. So while she's on the show, dude's probably hit up, hit up in a DM. So her DM's probably been booming. And he thinks she going to fuck with you? Come on, man. <laughs> Y'all dudes got to be wise out here, man. You know what I mean? So it's like I felt like at least there should have been something like there was a bet there's a there's a interest. huge there's a there's a huge benefit there's a huge interest if that is your desire mm. and i think that and for me it's not so much like okay let's just try to figure out our lives and what we're going to be like i'm not really in a rush like obviously like i said i've spent time trying to do other things that i care about i'm not not really in a okay. a huge rush to like be married or nothing but yeah i mean mm -hmm. she didn't she didn't say that came. to me but yeah, yeah like like obviously now she's she said it which which makes sense it's mm -hmm. something that i would i picked up on you know way earlier in mm -hmm. the conversation so and then eric yeah. you mentioned you felt like she wasn't interested in anyone at all is that true so i did say um like towards the end i wasn't going to pick anybody but he seemed very genuine mm -hmm. and i wanted to get to know him okay so yeah, I did say that, and I, I shouldn't have. You said all. that on the show? No, no, we were texting. I texted. She said him. it to me. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, like, when you came out and you saw the lineup, you were like, this ain't for me? Is that what you mean? Or um, when you said you weren't going to pick anyone? No, that's not what I meant. What did I mean? Like, it, for me, like, between them, like, them two, Obi mm -hmm. and him, I would have picked Obi. Oh, okay. But it was the three kids. But then he, like, started selling himself, and mm -hmm. I loved that. And mm -hmm. I was like... Okay, I'm interested. Like you really seem genuine. I see. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So when you said you weren't gonna pick anyone, it was between those, those two. two. You were like, mm. yeah. Okay. But okay. That's why I, I was see. like, if it was, it sounds bad, but if I had to choose, it was going to be him. Mm, okay. I see. Here. All right. And so, are you still secure in that selection you made, or would you have preferred to have not pick? 
after what? Honestly, know? probably not pick, so I wouldn't have wasted his time mm. and have him fill away. If okay. he does, I'm not saying you do, but yeah. Okay. All right, fellas. The lesson to learn here is don't lead with your wallet, bro. Stop it. Open your eyes. You can't sell yourself to a woman. It's either she wants you or she don't. She was about to pick the dude who had three kids. He didn't sell himself to her. But this dude interject and tried to sell himself. And then she picked him because it's TV. It sounds good. Why would I pick the guy with three kids if you have a single man over here who is trying to sell me a dream? This is what happens whenever you take the sucker route in life. A woman will always treat you like a sucker, bro. This is embarrassing. Fellas, focus on yourself out here, man. Value yourself. Keep self-improving. Level up. And know how to read the room. Like, when you that dude, you don't have to sell yourself. Because your attitude is, do you want me or not? If it's not, it's your loss. That's your attitude. But if you a sucker... Look, baby, I'm going to buy you this. I'm going to give you this. I got a big house. I love traveling. I want to take you every... It's hard for a bird to turn that down, buddy. It's hard for a bird to turn that down. That's some sucker shit. And whenever you do that, you taking the sucker route in life, and it don't pay off in the long run. Fellas, be wise out here.